What's up everyone, it's Jamie here from Shopify Masterclass and today we're going to cover Shopify's Brooklyn theme. We're going to do a quick review on it. Before we start, I just wanted to thank our sponsor. Discover ProfitCalc, the affordable and easy to set up Shopify app that crunches your numbers in just one click. It automatically syncs with all your accounts and expenses to calculate your profit, displaying everything in an easy to read dashboard so you understand your business in real time. Start for free on the Shopify App Store today. Have a Brooklyn, we're going to go over four categories. The first one is homepage, then we're going to customization features, then mobile optimization, and then speed. To start, I want to give you guys a look at what Brooklyn likes in a fully developed mode. So this is the Brooklyn listing on the Shopify theme store. And to so go through here, it goes to the features. I'm just going to go to view demo. There's also two styles you can do. It's called classic and playful. Playful, if you have a more uh, colorful store, it's a good option there. So click view demo here, page, and you have your header on top here, and you have your uh, slider here as well, and you have featured collections, and it fills up quite nicely if you click on the product page here. By now, it's going to take you to your checkout page. It has a direct link there as well. Overall, it's a solid team. It looks a lot better when it's filled out. I have it here on my Shopify store. I just installed it, put a, a few things in. So on the home page, we'll start there. They have a good customization. You have an announcement bar on top, so you have your header options, change your logo, add transparency, get on a second menu as well for your footer, and a link here to link to different pages. So moving down, you have your hero image on top, which is pretty classic between all Shopify stores. You can also make it a slider as well. It has like featured collections, rich text, and different options you can put here. Overall, it's a good homepage. It gives you the necessary things to present your store to your customers, as well as you have a newsletter option here at the bottom as well. So overall, it's quite good. I would give it a seven out of 10. It doesn't have all the features you would want with a more advanced theme to give you more selection on how you display your products and the customization of how everything looks. Brooklyn comes with basic options and there isn't too much editing beyond that, but overall, it's a great start. So the second thing we'll look at here is our features. So if you go to regular features, we've covered the home page here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on a product and this will show us the product options on the left. So again, you have your header. This is the same as the home page. The product page gives you different options here. So you can show product vendor, enable product sharing to show those social icons. You can add a dynamic add to cart button. Because if you click buy now, it goes straight to checkout versus going to cart. You can also have different options, so in Zoom, video looping, if you have that enabled as well. They also have the ability to have product recommendations, which is quite useful for upselling customers as it gives them different options, or cross-selling as well, to give them different options on how they want to purchase your products as it gives things that are similar. So overall, it's quite basic. There are product customizations there. There are theme customizations as well in terms of colors, typography, the cart page as well. You can edit if I just go to the cart page here. You can add order notes and change the page to a drawer as well. So instead of going straight to the cart page, what it is going to do is it's going to click from the left here and just going to show up like that, which is a different option as well if you are looking for something like that for your Shopify store. Check out same customization options as normal. If you're on the basic plan, there isn't too much customization in the checkout anyways. So now moving on from features which I would give a seven out of 10 because they are quite basic, but they're very easy to start with. And it's a free theme and you're getting a lot in there just for starting out. All right, so moving on to mobile. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go back to the demo here just because that has more things displayed. It's gonna give you a better idea of how it looks. So mobile, everything collapses quite nicely, especially on the home page. Everything kind of collapses down and it spreads out, making it easy for customers to scroll through. On the product page, I click, uh, let's go to the left here, go into a collection, and then we'll click on a product here. Mobile looks good as well. It's very intuitive to scroll to the left and right like that. It has your options here, your products. As well as the product page, it's only, there's no tabs or anything, it's just more of a description. But overall, mobile is good. Let's give it a nine out of 10, nothing wrong with it. Nothing amazing, but nothing wrong. It gives you exactly what you would look for in a mobile optimization. The last one is speed. So speed here, what I've done is I've gone to two different speed checkers to check the speed of Brooklyn. And the speed is quite fast. So 3.4 seconds and 1.92 seconds. So you take the difference of the two, maybe two, two and a half, and that's under three seconds. So as long as you're under three, that's amazing. So I'll give it a, a nine on 10 there. 
it's not under one or anything, but to get under three is fantastic. And that's the goal you want to hit for your Shopify site. And it, there's nothing installed in my store, no apps or anything. So it ranks high in all of these as well. And so that concludes my review of Brooklyn. Overall, it's a great starter theme and something great to start out with, get your feet wet with Shopify and to give you those basic customization options. But if you're looking for something more advanced or if you have a lot of products, Brooklyn might not be the theme for you because there are very few organization options, filtering options or anything like that. And the product page can be quite limited. If you guys enjoyed the video, just remember to hit like and subscribe below. And if you have any questions, just give me a comment and I'll reply to you as fast as I can.